Well, good day, everybody. On uh, this little video here, I'm just gonna show you basically how to have your Xbox 360 controller, the wired one, to actually work on your Mac Pro or any Macintosh uh, computer. So you can play Grand Theft Auto or Skyrim. And I'm just basically trying to help some of the people actually on this blog that are basically trying to figure out how to make it work. Some people came, like most of them actually came successful, but some people are just like me by watching the video, it's just like scratching your head by reading all this. It's like, how the hell I can to make this work? It's actually not that bad. You just basically go and pay attention and basically what it says here. So, um, first of all, uh, what you want is get the driver for your Xbox 360 controller to actually work on your Mac. So what you need to do is basically you go to Teddy Buggle, the website, which I will basically include the link. And this is all the introduction and the whole nine yard. And then after that, you can download it. And then later on, it does work actually on the wireless too which is pretty good but you need an adapter for the wireless so that answers my second question so it's both good for the wired and a wireless controller so therefore here it is download it install it once it's installed you want to go into your system preference go to your xbox 360 controller and see if everything was working. In my case, mine is a wired controller, so everything is working. So Y, A, B, X, start, back, home, and then fool around with your DVD. I want to play Pong, anyone? No? Do, do. Anyway, never mind. Um, <laughs> so now we'll close this window. So now that the driver is installed, um, I want basically to have my Skyrim to work with my joystick or my controller, sorry. So what we'll do now, um, beforehand, this website actually is pretty handy. So what we'll do right now is we'll copy all those codes, all of this, and we'll do a copy because we need this. So copy, it's now in the memory. So now I'll find the other link in order to show you the path as of where the emulator is going to be. So what we'll do is I'll just go here it is. So I'm just gonna show you where this is gonna be. So this is the path. And we'll do this right now. So what I want now is we'll install All of this, hang on for a minute here. Just gotta find the files. So we'll go into games and we'll go into the yellow scroll Xbox 360 controller. Oh, here it is. So this is installed. Now, once you get the file from this little guy there, which I will also include a link, this will allow you actually to emulate or activate your um, Xbox 360 controller to actually work with your games. So I'll just keep this little window open. And what we'll do now is we'll just follow the path so we can install all this file into Skyrim so that we no longer play with a keyboard or the mouse. That is our main goal. So what we'll do right now is we'll go into application, the yellow scroll, which we are in right now, which is the application. And then you want to go into contents, resources, and the whole nine yard. But I'm not going to do like folder by folder process. So basically, well, you could do that. But anyway, we'll I'll just go show the package contents. If you right click on the game, and then we'll just basically follow the procedures here, which is going to be contents, and we'll just open it. And then we'll open resources. 
open resource and then trans gaming open trans gaming and then right here it says c drive open c drive program files and we'll open program files and the grand finale is going to be that folder the yellow score and then what you want to do is basically uncompress decompress sorry that x360 ce select all click hold and drag everything in that folder into that elder scroll v uh, 5 skyrim i'm not going to do it because it's already done so you click everything drag it once all this is done what you want to do afterwards is um into the folder containing the games that exe file open it x360 ce that in it file using a text edit so we'll do that there she is so right click or you can automatically just open it with text edit so in my case it's easier just to do this because i'm a bit of a messy guy on looking for my files text edit open and up it goes so here it is so from pad one in between wherever it says here pad one to pad two somewhere in between you want to paste all of this all your code that you actually copied earlier not mine actually stuff as pad two but i did a little bit more to it earlier so what you want to do is basically paste after once it's paste you want to do a save once this is saved you can close it and that's all there is to it and then you can play your video game now I'm not going to do it because mine is actually I've got a crappy you know graphics for some reason on it but it shows basically just like if you were playing uh, Skyrim on the Xbox 360 you'll see A for yes B for no and then start for the start button so you no longer have to use your mouse nor a keyboard or a E in order to accept so it's actually pretty straightforward so hopefully this has been pretty um, you know resourceful for all of you so if you do have any question do let me know i do not have answer to everything but i'll look into it in order to provide a good answer for you so again thank you for watching and happy gaming